Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Lord Commander. This is first ever uh, video battle report. I know it's low quality. I know it's not uh, what you come to expect, but it's my first time, and I don't think you were all that great your first time either. So, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, go ahead and put them in the comments box, and I'll see what I can do about them. Without further ado, this is uh, me versus Lord Rigel, 2,500 points, Warriors of Chaos versus Lizardmen. Uh, there's my general, Demon Prince of Nurgle, level 2, Charm Shield, Dragon Bane, Jin, Berserk Shard, Chaos Armor. You recognize everything. You can read. There's my Exalted Hero of Nurgle, BSD. And uh, I don't want to bore you guys with all this, so if you're really curious to see what all is in my list, you can just pause it as YouTube and read it all you want. Yay, my core warriors. And, of course, there'll be a bunch of pictures here in a minute. My special and rare choices. And here's the lizard man list. He's got his slam, R Lord Rigel, the 247th, because he gets killed a lot. Uh, he's a level 4 wizard, BSD. He's got that plus 1 leadership banner, so yeah, he's leadership 10. <laughs> he's also got that S roll thing that they can do. Uh, he's got plus 2 channeling dice. He's got the plus 1 to channel staff. Uh, he might have some other stuff. He was supposed to get in his list. He hasn't gotten it to me. So feel free, if you see this buddy, to put it in the comments section below. Uh, what else has he got here? He's got his star vet on a carnosaur. I don't know what a star vet had, but the, uh, the carnosaur had blood roar and swift stride. He had ten skinks that scouted behind my ranks, or uh, in my deployment zone, uh, with javelins and shields. He had... Big brick of 25 Star Wars Warriors with 10 weapon shields with full command. 30 Star Wars Warriors with spears, shields, and a full command. Uh, and then he had just a ton of dinosaurs. A Stegonon with a giant bow, an ancient Stegonon with engine, a Troglodon, a Basilodon. It was insane. And here's the deployment after we were all set up and I had done my Vanguard. There's my Hell Striders in the middle of the board. As you can see, there's his Carnosaur, his Troglodon, his Slam. Both Stegs, unit of warriors, the Basilodon, his uh, unit of guards with spears. My deployment, my models look better, haha. -ha. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, my deployment there. There's the right flank, uh, there's my demon prince, there's those skinks that are encroaching, they will pay. Those are my spells. I got Miasma, uh, uh, Pestilence, I got. Infernal Gateway, I got Malakoth's Mystifying, or, oh no, these are his spells. Sorry, like I said, this is my first time. So yeah, turn one movement, as you can see, uh, I kind of went aggressive. I pushed forward, uh, obviously I wanted to turn, or wanted to roll to go first. I uh, sent the Demon Prince up, I didn't want to get charged by his dinosaurs, uh, because, you know, Demon Prince is cool and all, and we'd like to keep him around. I uh, moved the Mutalith over to deal with the Skinks. I figured with his uh, Toughness 5 and his Save, he should be able to handle it. Plus, I wanted to throw my spell on and hopefully get a free spawn. Uh, I sent the Zinc Warriors up, which seemed like a good idea at the time. I sent my uh, Gore Beast up to uh, support the Warriors, the uh, Nerd Warriors. Left behind a little bit because he kind of did some flank denial. The Chimera started working his way around, and the Hell Striders, as you can see, are already on the other side of the table, getting ready to go behind him. So that was pretty cool. He, on the other hand, during his uh, phase, moved up, as you can see, uh, scurried the Carnosaur around. Uh, his Trogodon came up to spit at my Demon Prince. His Stegodon on the mountain on the far side there, or the hill, I'm sorry, fired his Ancient Bow at my uh, Demon Prince, needing a 6 because he moved and it was long range, and he rolled a 6. Poisoned, got right, you know, no armor save, got past my ward. Uh, he, I had already used my charm shield, or forgot I should have used my charm shield when the little skink shot at me. Skinks didn't do anything, just the bow. Shot a, bo shot a bolt right into his face. That was great. Then we sat in. Uh, let's see, then, yeah, that's the, that's what I rolled for the Wings of Magic. So, needless to say, top turn one. Tried to get my Mula spell off, didn't go off. There's my, yeah, the Demon Prince catches a giant bow bolt with his face. Don't advise you trying that. It's a terrible tactic. Over here, my Demon Prince uh, charged the Troglodon. 
Uh, he spit at me, but he missed, and I got a hold of him. I did two wounds, and he didn't do anything, but I was able to win by three, and he needed a seven with the reroll, and he failed, and I pursued, and I went 12 inches. I was off the table. That's where my demon prince went off the table. He's not on it right now. He comes back next turn, much to my regret. My mutilates uh, ended up in turn two, charging the skinks. Uh, they didn't hurt him at all. He pulverized six of them and then ran them down in, uh, when they lost combat. That's my boy right there. Alrighty, uh, here's what, at the end of turn two, what all the movement looks like. Um, yeah, the Carnosaur tried charging my Zinc Warriors. They're the ones at the bottom left in this screen. Uh, hard, well, you just get the flank side of them. But yeah, they're fleeing because of that Blood Roar. Rolling 2d6 and lo getting rid of the lowest for a leadership test stinks. But it is what it is. The Health Striders moved around to put a little pressure on the backside of the uh, Sarf Warriors. And the Chimera failed to charge. I needed a 9 and I rolled an 8. It was close. Uh, the Nurgle Warriors, I think they just moved up. The Chariot tried to charge the Stegadon with the uh, laser-guided bolt thrower and uh, failed. I think I needed a 9. That really stunk too. Uh, yep. Top of turn 3. Uh, the Demon Prince came back on the board and I moved 10 inches because that's the best I could do. I was going to move closer, but I didn't want to take a charge with the uh, Ancient Stegadon. I was sitting on two wounds. I didn't trust his sharp... I knew he probably had sharpened horns, so I didn't want to take the risk. Uh, yeah, in turn two, my bolt thrower took a... Or, I'm sorry, my Gorbista took a shot from uh, the Stegadon bolt thrower. He rolled another six to hit. Put three wounds on the Gorbista. So I backed up a little bit. Probably the stupider thing to do, but hindsight's twenty twenty. And as you can see, my... Uh, Warriors of Zinc have rallied, and they turned to try to get back into the game. Uh, my Chimera was going to charge into the Tharith Warriors with spears, as well as my uh, Hellstriders on the other flank, but he got Oakham's Mind Razor off, so I decided against that. And, little side note, the Basilidon during his magic phase was able to get his little laser pew-pew bound spell off, and he rolled a 1. And yet, he was still able to kill one Nurgle Warrior. Whoopsie do. There's the picture of uh, Oakham's Mind Razor on that unit of Do Not Charge Me Please, and the Chimera complied. There's my positioning right here. Uh, his, I don't have a picture of his. It's like I said, it's my first time. I didn't think I was going to be doing this. But uh, yeah, the Stegadon turns in a minute. There's what this is. Yep. There he is. The guy that can't miss. Turn three. Turns around, faces my demon prince, who was going to charge him next round, I won't lie. Fires his bolt throw. He needed a five. Rolls a six. Failed my war save. Demon prince stuck. Hey. Three turns, three sixes to hit. That thing had to go. Here's turn four. Uh, as you can see, not a lot happened. The Warriors of Nurgle tried to charge the Slam, who kind of exposed himself. I needed a 9, rolled a 6. So it wasn't even close. But, had I been able to get a hold of the Slam, uh, my BSB would have issued a challenge. He would have had to accept. Uh, whether or not he did any damage, I didn't care. I know he was Ethereal. Uh, if he was able to hurt him, whoop de do. I was going to charge from high ground with two banners, two ranks. Even if the Slam did a wound, he wasn't going to take away one of my ranks. So, charge, high ground, two ranks, two banners to his... BSV, he was going to break. I was hoping he was going to break. Uh, and that would take care of his general, and we would have been even, but I couldn't roll way above average. So, bet big, win big, and I lost. Uh, what else? Uh, the Chimera charged the Basilidon in the flank. I was just able to get past him, thanks to the flying and corner to corner. Uh, kind of forget about the Hell Striders at this point. I don't know why. Probably distracted by the fact that the Demon Prince was dead, but yeah, that was stupid on my part, and if it helps, I pay for it later. Uh, there's the two Stegadons there, looking at where the Demon Prince was, probably giggling, I wonder what that sounds like. His Carnosaur readjusts to come closer, he tries to get, he wants to get a hold of my warriors. As you can see, bottom of turn four, the Chimera, although heavily debuffed, uh, with 
strength and toughness being lowered thanks to the uh, lore of shadow he uh, was still able to kill off the uh, the philodon he put five wounds on him the first round of combat he put three wounds on him uh, second round of combat he put five wounds on him mostly thanks to poison and one got through that was enough and the Bacillodon died, and there was mustard gold for me. However, as you can see, the Ancient Stegonon moved over, and he pulsed, and he killed uh, another Nurgle Warrior, because he, he pulsed out like 19 inches. It was insane. He put uh, a wound on the Chimera, who's now at this point sitting on three wounds. Uh, he's got one left. Two of the Hellstriders died, and a couple of, one or two of my Nurgle Warriors died. I can't remember how many. So yeah, the Chimera's hanging on by a thread, but hey, He's a glass cannon. You got to use him as such, right? So there's bottom of turn four. Uh, the Carnosaur tried to charge my Gorby's chariot, which uh, could have stayed. But let's face it: if my Gorby's chariot got charged by the Carnosaur, it would have just been awful. So I fled. He redirected into the Nurgle Warriors, who failed their Blood Roar terror check, and as you can see, are now fleeing, which makes me sick to my stomach. Uh, for what it's worth, the Gorby's Chariot never rallies. He flees until the end of the game, never making it off the table, so there's 140 points I saved, but it was it was too little too late. Uh, but yeah, bottom of four, this is kind of what everything looked like. Top of five. I don't know what I was thinking about. Uh, I had so much going on towards my end of the table, I forgot to look over at his end, and there's my untainted Hellstriders getting a whole bunch of attention from an ancient Stegadon who charges the two inches that he was away and I will leave you in suspense here and make you try to decide what happened when the Stegadon charged the Hellstriders. The other Stegadon, uh, in top of five, sorry I don't have pictures, I'll get better at this, the other Stegadon got charged in the rear from my Chimera uh, in top of five, this is bottom of five here in this picture. The, like I said, the Chimera charged the rear of the Stegadon was able to put three wounds on him. And he already had two from an earlier uh, Infernal Gateway that I got off on him from my Zinc Caster, who's really just been trying to throw spells and try to get into this game. Uh, so he had two wounds on him already. The Chimera comes in, in the rear, and is able, with still with heavy debuff, to get uh, three wounds to him. So he was only strength four at the time because of the debuff. So it was only negative one to his armor save. He didn't make one armor save. But he had made his toughness check when I got Infernal Gateway off. Because of Warp Flame, so he had a 6-up regen. He made one 6-up regen. He was able to get his attack through. He killed off the Chimera. And then, in bottom of 5, he charged down the hill into the flank of my Mutalisk. Over here, um, after my Warriors rallied in top of 5, the Saurus Warriors with Hand Weapon Shield got froggy and charged in the Nurgle Warriors. And they pay for it with seven or eight deaths. I'm not sure how many. I think I lost one or two guys, and he lost seven or eight. He lost that combat by five and made his break test because he needed a five with a reroll. I mean, they're cold-blooded. You know, they don't steal things like regular people. So, yeah, they paid for it, but uh, it, it worked out for him in the end. And as you can see from the magic cards, he was debuffing my units because all I had was a level two against his level four. Oh, I know, you're shocked. The Ancient Stegadon was able to pulp three Toughness 3 Hellstriders on the charge. I was stunned too. Yeah, that was a terrible, terrible stupid mistake on that on my part, and my opponent capitalized on it like a, like a pro. And uh, I gotta give it to him there. That was really stupid on my part. I'm glad he was able to pick it up and teach me the lesson I so rightly needed to learn. This was actually awesome. His Stegadon came down, uh... He, he got three impact hits, and he had the sharpened horns. Uh, he was able to get two wounds. Uh, I saved one with regen, and the other one only did one wound. In the ensuing combat, he wasn't able to hurt me, and I did one wound to him that got through, and he died. So, Mutalus, MVP, all day. And he's sitting there with his hand up, just fist bumping it. That's a shame. Over here, this is the top of turn six, and this is where it's just finally pretty much over. Um, I don't have a picture of it just yet, but the Zinc Warriors that you see right there, that little white uh, model there that looks like a caster, yeah, that's my Zinc caster. In turn five, I had the plan to take him out of the unit. 
I just not, did not have the ability to remember it. And there's my Gorby's parrot over there to the left, still fleeing. There we go. But, uh, yeah, I forget to take the caster out in turn 5, so in turn 6, I don't have any other choice. I charge with the Zenith Warriors and my Mutalisk. The Mutalisk was in position to get into the rear of the Carnosaur, and the Zenith Warriors are in position to get into the front. Obviously, they both make it, but... As you can see, uh, bottom of six is uh, Spearman, Star Warriors, charging to the flank of my warriors. What happened in combat with the Carnosaur was my unit champion uh, actually had to issue a challenge. It was either him or the caster, and like an idiot, I realized at this point that the caster is still in the unit, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a moron. So the unit champion uh, takes his three attacks, hits all three times, and actually wounds twice. And he needed a uh, six up armor and a six up uh, ward because in turn five, my caster had cast in, uh, Infernal Gateway on the Carnosaur and put three wounds on him, leaving him with two left. The unit champion, above and beyond, swings away and actually puts those two wounds on the Carnosaur, giving him a six up armor and a six up regen because of me. My opponent picks up two dice, throws them, and rolls box cards. And then the Carnosaur and the Scar Veteran proceed to beat six combat res out of my uh, unit champion. Because, hey, fate, she be a cruel mistress. And that's why she needs to be beat. But anyway, uh, I still won combat, just pure combat res, two ranks, banner, charge, rear. I win combat, but as you can see, the slam is right there, BSB. He actually fails his first break check and then knocks the other one out of He rolled a five on three dice ridiculous but yeah uh the saurus warriors uh with hand weapon shield and my uh, nurgle warriors uh at this point my nurgle warriors are severely severely debuffed uh no i'm sorry that's not true in the round of combat we had i flubbed my roll i still won combat by like four he made his break check no problem and then in turn six as you can see the saurus warriors with spear come charging in I get debuffed in his magic phase just royally. I throw four dice at his two to try to stop, and that four dice, I think I rolled six. It was devastating. He made him strength three. No, I'm sorry. He, he I was able to st stop the strength one, the enfeeble one, but uh, the withering got off, so there was toughness one. The, uh, the Malakoth's mystifying miasma went off, and there were uh, uh, weapon skill four, so... That, that stunk. I was hitting on fours instead of threes, and I was uh, I was wounded on fours, but he was hitting me on fours and wounded me on twos, and, uh, yeah. I lose combat by, like, eight. Um, I obviously did not stand. Uh, my BSB dies, my banner standard dies, but there was still a solid six or seven Nurgle Warriors left. So I'm thinking, all right, well, maybe I can get away, and because and, it's like a 400-point unit. Nope, I roll an 11 to get away, and I was laughing. I was like, well, you're not going to get the points for the Nurgle Warriors, I guess. I guess. So he laughs. He picks up two dice for the Spearmen, and uh, they roll like a 5. And I was like, yeah, slow stars, Warriors. Ha ha. He picks up a couple of dice to pursue with the Hand Weapon Shield guys. Yeah, those five guys that are left, and they roll an 11. Running down the Nurgle Warriors. <laughs> yeah, which clinches the game. It was close. I think he still had it, even if they had, uh, with the BSB dying, it was pretty obvious he had it. But with, uh, it still might have been closer. It might. It definitely wouldn't have been a massacre. But, yeah, with him killing, catching the, the 431-point unit of Nurgle Warriors that I had there, it was all over but the crying. And then, of course, here... My uh, caster had no choice, thanks to the Eye of the Gods, to, uh, but had to uh, issue a challenge to a Carnosaur. And uh, when you send a fourth grader up against a Tyrannosaurus Rex, he becomes lower intestine goo, and that's exactly what happened. He swung and didn't, couldn't wound, and he hit three times. No, he hit twice, I'm sorry. Hit twice, but he couldn't wound because, you know, strength four, and he's just, uh, well, he shouldn't have been in combat. That was my fault. The Carnosaur uh, beat the tar out of him. I still win combat, but only by one, and he makes it no problem. In fact, the tape measure right there just, I think he was uh, 
measuring to see if his BFD was in range for him. He's like, he needed a nine, and he made it, no problem. Probably an LC dunk. And, yeah, that's that's it at the end. I've got my Mutalist there. I've got my uh, uh, Jinx Warriors there. And way off screen to the left is my Gorbeast Chariot, desperately trying to get away. And as you can see, he's got his Ancient Stegodon, his Slam, both units of Star Forges, his Carnosaur with a Scar Vest. Uh, it was a bloody game. It was. It was a very bloody game. But uh, in the end, my opponent outplayed me, and he outplayed me beautifully. It was a great game. Uh, they won by a massacre. We did the points. He lost a unit of Skinks, a Trogodon, his Basilodon, and a Stegodon, the small one. I ended up losing my Demon Prince, who's my general, ESP, my Sorcerer, uh, my Nurgawars, my Chimera, my Hellstriders, and about a pound of pride. We didn't actually measure it, but it felt like a pound. Uh, I really can't complain, though. Anytime you play Fantasy, is a win. Uh, it was an excellent game. I love playing against this guy. He's one of my favorite opponents. Uh, he outplayed me. I made a ton of mistakes, and he was beautifully positioned to capitalize on every single one. And we have video proof now. Uh, but yeah, man, if you're watching this, thank you for a great game, and I want a damn rematch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this was my first uh, YouTube video. Uh, if you guys liked it, great. I don't care if you hit like or, or dislike. Feel free to click on both. Uh, I don't care if you subscribe. I, I don't think I'm going to get anything out of this. I'm just doing this for a journal and for fun. If uh, you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to put them in the comments section. If you just want to troll this site or tell me how much it's awful, that's fine too. Put it in the comments section. It'll be fun. Uh, but thanks.